What's Crackling Codelets? In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up paper script highlighting in an HTML file in your Visual Studio Code editor. So I already did a video like this for Sublime Text. This one is for Visual Studio Code. And let's go ahead and get into it. So right now you can see that text forward slash paper script inside this script gives us white text. Now that's not ideal. We want that text to be highlighted so we know what is a variable, what is a function, and so on and so forth. All right, cool. So if we head over to our Finder, I'm on a Mac. The solution is very similar for PC. You're just going to go to a different folder. And if you want, I have the link to the original Stack Overflow post that a student from the Web Developer Bootcamp shared with me. And it has instructions for finding that file on Windows. OK, so back to finding it on a Mac. Let's go over to the Finder. You're going to go to Applications, go all the way down to Visual Studio Code, right click, Show Package Contents contents, resources, app, extensions, hit H, go down to HTML, syntaxes, and there's the file. If you're looking for a new course that'll help you build on your existing Node and Express.js skill set, then check out my COVID Node Learn by Doing course, available now for 50% off on devsprout.io. So they were telling us that it's html.json. I don't have that, it may be a version difference. So I have html.tmlanguage.json. So I am going to open up that one. So right click, you can open it in Visual Studio Code or Sublime. I prefer Sublime, so I'm gonna open it up in Sublime. And now what we wanna do is use Command F on Mac or Control F on PC, and we're gonna look up the word JavaScript. So here it is, and this is like this giant horizontal bar where we have JavaScript, and then we have this bar right here, and then we have X JavaScript and JScript and blah, blah, blah. We basically want to copy what we have right here for X dash JavaScript, and then paste it in again put a space, put a bar right there. And so now we want to change this one from x-javascript to paper script. And now that we have that in place, we can save this file, command S or control S if you're on PC, head over to Visual Studio Code. You're not gonna notice the difference here because uh, we need to close it and update it. So I'm gonna go ahead and quit Visual Studio Code, open it up again. Oh, and look at that. We have our syntax highlighting. Voila, we're done, pretty simple. So just to go back over it real quick so you don't have to replay the video, over in Sublime, I did a Command F or Control F on PC, looked up the word JavaScript. When I found where I had JavaScript with all this weird blah blah, these backslash in, backslash t's, all that, that's for like a return or a tab, things like that. So once I found that, then I just went right next to it, found the very next one, duplicated it, and changed it to PaperScript. Simple as that. So now, whenever you have a type equals text forward slash paper script, it's gonna give you the same highlighting as JavaScript. Hey Codelets, before you go, if you want an insider tip on how to get a version of VS Code that doesn't track what you're doing, then check out VS Codium from vscodium.com. It's an open source version of VS Code, has all the same features, but there's no tracking. Check it out.